so rare that we actually have a car full of Microsoft people. To, uh, <laughs> this is pretty awesome. So why don't you guys just introduce yourselves real quick? I, we'll, we'll start with you, man. What's your name? Uh, my name's Callum Duncan. Cool. Uh, so I work with Ford to uh, deliver traffic directions and information. So I was responsible for working with our internal teams and uh, the various different Ford partners to deliver the solution. Very good. Yeah, what's your name? I'm Pearson Cummings. I'm the marketing guy. Okay, that works. <laughs> the flag types, right? Yeah. Here we go. What's your I'm name? I'm Jim Chow. I'm Hi, the, Jim. Uh, engineer. Oh, okay. So you helped engineer uh, the the interface. Yes. Uh, uh, the in cloud. Uh, voice services. Oh, okay, so not just the interface, but actually how all of these systems interact to deliver sync services That's to right. the drivers. I want to talk about how this is the most cloud-connected car in probably the world right now. Now you can have a whole suite of services, like you were saying, mm -hmm. traffic, directions, con traffic conditions, and, and things like that. Sports Sports scores. Services, well. Sport scores, news, weather, uh, and, and more to come. So yeah, it really was an extension of the Microsoft Automotive platform to provide these connected services uh, via just the simplicity of a Bluetooth equipped phone. So there's no requirement for a, a data plan. Uh, it's just simply using your, your minutes on your phone. Okay, cool. Well, t talk to you about the technology behind the system that actually helps deliver it, though, because it's not all here in the car. Correct. So the really the the majority of, of, of traffic directions and information is, is really in the cloud, and then that's through Microsoft providing uh, the uh, the platform that provides the speech recognition in the cloud, and also the the voice applications that. Uh, Come along with that, and then the other vendors like uh, Inrix, who provide the uh, traffic information uh, and routing information. Uh, once again, they're a cloud-based service. When when someone says traffic to work, Microsoft tell me says, okay, hey Inrix, this is this is where they are. This is where they want to go. Give me real-time traffic and present back to me two options. Well, well, I mean, let's let's shout out the uh, the mm. suppliers and partners here that you worked with. It's not just uh, Inrix that you're working with. Correct. Uh, so Telenav, uh, they provide the, uh, the, uh, the navigation piece on the, on the actual unit itself, uh, so they can certainly talk to you about uh, what it is they do. Uh, a company called Ambiquity is responsible for the modem technology, so the, uh, using your voice channel to uh, upload and download data, particularly uh, GPS and turn-by-turn. Uh, -turn. I don't have to worry about Ambiquity. I don't have to worry about Telenav. Using the interface built mm -hmm. into the car, it, it accesses these systems remotely through the through the, cloud. the cloud. This yep. is this is sort of the buzz term that we're teaching automotive people to use, and uh, and uh, geekdom is kind of sort of familiar with the cloud already. It's There's... actually just a phone call, and yeah. phone call. I mean, it's a special phone call in that the, the vehicle is aware of this um, interaction mode. But then mm -hmm. once um, you dial this phone number, uh, Microsoft telling me fronts all the voice interaction, and we kind of behind the scenes interact with all these different vendors, but obviously as the driver, you're, you're not aware. Ford announced the services uh, in uh, CES 2009. Mm -hmm. uh, it's been out on you know, some of the, the larger vehicles, the Fusion, Taurus. the Taurus, the, uh, the Edge, uh, to name a few, the Escape. And yeah, this is the first time in a, in a B class car that uh, these services are available. So in automotive, it's just kind of socially important is what I like to call it, because this is a $15,000 car. Mm -hmm. One of the key, I mean, one of the things that they obviously made a decision on is going with the cloud, because this seems experience that you've kind of gone, wow, this is amazing. Yeah. I want to illuminate for my for my audience. For sure. What happens on the back end? How right. this all comes together? It yeah. seems to just work, and people are excited about it. But the process and the decision that you make to go with the cloud, you see it all around this event today. It's really talking about the cloud because it is an important ingredient. It's fascinating. It's fascinating, but more than that, it's fascinating at the price point because Absolutely. this is not just delivering an average experience to a B-segment car buyer. This is really hitting, you know, young people that can afford this vehicle with technology that they're familiar with and that they understand. Mm -hmm. They get the value in it. It does. Maybe I shouldn't end the. Vi is that an iPhone? <laughs> <laughs> um, hold on, hold on. No. There's a Microsoft guy with a Windows yeah, phone. Hold how on. many Windows phones do we have in this car? Like, wait a uh, second. There we go. go. Everybody pulls their Windows phones But out. you know, we actually, um, <laughs> the Bing Climb. We got to know all these. We're so, multi platform. You know, right. So people yeah. with iPhones don't have to worry. This is going to work seamlessly. Dial, dial. Uh, the, yeah, I mean, uh, there's a variety of Windows Mobile, RIM 
uh, and uh, iPhone models that are supported. The full list of them is uh, on sigmaride.com. Uh, so you can go out there and see whether your phone is, is supported. But, you know, it's not about having a smartphone. It's, uh, you know, you can have a smartphone, that's great. Uh, but you can have just your regular, you know, clamshell type, very simple vanilla flavor phone as long as it has Bluetooth. And it's one of the phones that's supported. Then you get access to these services.